It's another math day with teacher Jenny, and here we have our topic for the day. It's algebra of functions, literally known as operations of functions. First, we have the sum of functions. When you say sum of functions, literally we're doing addition of two or more functions. So your notation here is simply quantity f plus g of x, that will be equal to f of x plus g of x. Or sometimes, if you can see this one, this is simply an indicator that you are adding to functions, the f and the g on it. Now, here is an example. So we have here two functions, f of x, equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 and g of x is equal to x plus 1. Now if we are to look for f plus g of x, we are simply adding your functions f of x and g of x. So this is what we are going to do first. We are going to, let me just change my ink first. Let's have black in here. Okay, so we are going to just write the notation in there. F plus G of X, that will be equal to F of X plus G of X. Now, once you're done with that, you are ready for the substitution or the replacement of the corresponding equivalent function on it. So we have F of X f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. So we will be replacing that one on your f of x in there. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now I always make sure that whenever I replace a function or a variable with the value, I always enclose that one in a parenthesis so that later on I will have to go back and I will know what is that expression for? So, but if you really wanted to do it in your own way, like simply writing that one without the parenthesis, that is still okay. So anyways, we'll, we'll continue with this. So we have a plus and then the g of x in there. g of x there is equal to x plus 1. So we will be replacing that entirely by x plus 1. Now, Combining like terms, when you say like terms, you are going to add or subtract those that contain same variable and same exponent. And so with those constants, you can simply add or subtract those. Now, looking at your equation in there, you've got there the x squared with only one meaning we don't have any other x squared in there so we simply have to write or copy that one here now remember in writing your equation we must follow certain order in which you will be starting from the highest exponent down to the lowest exponent so we'll start off with x squared so since your x squared doesn't have any partner or any other x squared in there so we'll just simply copy that one now next you have here the next one is your x so we'll check on the x in here we have the two x in there and another x so we are simply adding those two x in there and then that will be equal to so 2x plus x that will be 3x because we're only adding the numbers beside your x in there Next one, we move on to the constant in there. So we have 1 and 1. So 1 plus 1 is simply 2. So we have there your answer for the f plus g of x, which is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now, there is another way for you to do that one wherein you will be adding your function. You can utilize your vertical way of adding it. What do I mean by vertical way of adding it? You are going to simply uh, add 
two functions in there, you have x squared plus 2x plus 1, you will add that one with the x plus 1 in there. Now, notice that we are aligning those like terms again and again like terms. You are referring to those with variables with the same exponent and also the constant in there. So, we are aligning your x to your 2x and the 1 to the other one in there. So, adding you will be adding vertically in here, so you will be adding the constant, so 1 plus 1. Either way, if you're adding from left to right or right to left, it really doesn't matter at all because this is not similar to your numbers in which you will be really, really following the, the right ordering of addition. So we'll start off with 1 plus 1, that will be 2. And then that's a plus. And then 2x plus x, that will be 3x. And then we have your x squared. So we can simply have there the f plus g of x. That will be equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay, there you go. Next, we go to the difference of functions. Difference of functions, everybody, is simply subtracting your functions given in there by your function name f and the g. So we have here f minus g of x. That is the same way as doing f of x minus g of x. Or sometimes if you see this notation, this would simply mean that we have an f of x minus g of x. But you have to remember, you need to follow the ordering of the name of the function in there because we all know that we don't have a property when it comes to subtraction. So meaning to say, we cannot interchange the placement of your f and g in there. So you have to make sure whatever letter is coming first, you have to put that one as the first number that you will be subtracting it with. Okay, now let's go to the example. This is the same as before. So we have f of x equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 and the g of x, which is equal to x plus 1. So we do the f minus g of x. So doing that one, we simply have to write the notation in there for f minus g of x. This will be equal to f of x because that is f on the first one. So we have f of x minus the second function name is g. So we have g of x. And then this will be equal to, so this time we are now to replace the values of your function in there. So for f of x, we have that one as x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then we do minus, and then we have the x plus 1. So this time, we will be doing subtraction. So no need for you to get this parenthesis out. We can just simply do the subtraction in there right away. So we can do x squared. And again, we are trying to write it in order, the, the equation in there, in which your variable that contains the highest exponent will be written first. So we will be concentrating on your x squared. Now, upon checking on the g of x, there is no other x squared in there. So you just simply copy your x squared. So we will not be touching that one. So we go for your x. Now, for your x, we have the 2x in there. And then we have an x on the other side. So notice you are doing subtraction. So 2x minus x, that will be equal to positive x. And then we have 1 minus 1. That will be equal to 0. So we don't need to write that there. So your final answer for the f minus g of x, this is simply equal to x squared plus x. Now, same way as your addition, you can actually do this one vertically. So this might be very comfortable on your part so you might as well choose this method in here so it's really okay as long as we come up with the same and the correct answer in there so we go for uh, x squared since we have f in here that means to say we are gonna write your f of x 
at the top. So you cannot really interchange those two. So we have here x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then we do subtract that 1 by the g of x. g of x is x. We are to align your x on the 2x because they are what we call as the like terms. Now, and also the plus 1 should be aligned on the plus 1 as well because they are like terms. Okay, now subtracting. When we do subtract, remember, we are going to do the KCC. If you were under me, you would know and you would really, really uh, be familiar with the KCC. So KCC is simply the keep and the change and also the change. So this is our key for understanding subtraction if you are into confusion when it comes to subtraction. But if you really know subtraction, then no need for you to remember this one. So what is really keep? So that means to say this is the first one. So that refers to the first number. The first number is to simply keep, meaning we are keeping that one. We are not changing anything. So whatever is on the first number, you just simply copy it. And the first number is x squared plus 2x plus 1. So we will just have it that way. Now, we go for the change. The change here is on your operation this is subtraction so we are to change this one to your addition next one the other change here refers to the second number so meaning to say we are changing the second number but not the number it's only pertaining to the sign so meaning to say checking up your second number the second number in there is the x plus one so you will be literally changing all the signs in there. So from positive x, that becomes a negative, and positive 1, that becomes a negative 1. And then we are now doing addition in there. So adding up, we might start from the constant, going to your highest exponent of your variable x. So we will have here 1 plus negative 1, that is now a zero. And then we have there uh, 2x, or we may not write that zero anymore. So to avoid confusion in there. So zero means nothing at all. So no need for you to write that one. So next one, we go for the x. So 2x plus negative x, that is equal to an x in there and since 2 is the highest or the biggest or the bigger number compared to your 1 so we will be following your sign on the 2x in there which is positive so we have there x squared does not have any partner at all so we are going to bring it down in there so we have there the final answer for our f minus g of x this is equal to x squared plus x which is similar to what 